Welcome back, football fans. It's John Kuzma from EndZoneBlog.com, and I want to talk about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers' 20-16 win over the Carolina Panthers. The biggest star in this game was hands down Chris Godwin, and now he's starting to prove that he's a number one receiver in the National Football League. Um, he went for 121 yards and one touchdown against an improving Carolina Panthers defense. And Godwin, you know, looked very good. Usually when we think about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers passing attack, we think about Mike Evans and all that he does for that offense. But in these past two games, it's been all Chris Godwin. You know, Jameis Winston is looking his way early and often. And right now, through these two games, it's been, you know, the Chris Godwin show. Um, he's progressed quite a bit. He looks like a guy that this offense can rely on, you know, week in and week out. And two things really stand out when you look at the in-game strategy and why Godwin was so effective. Uh, first and foremost, Bruce Arians let Godwin play to his strengths. Um, Jameis Winston made a lot of throws to the middle of the field, and Godwin uh, used the post route often to find openings and do some damage against uh, this Panther secondary. Um, the other thing, you know, that really helped Chris Godwin is they lined him up all over the field. So they lined him up both as an X and a Z receiver, but also in the slot as well. And what that did is give Godwin favorable matchups against weaker defensive backs where he could take advantage of that matchup and create some offense, you know, for this team. You know, Winston's looking Godwin's way often because he knows that um, he has an emerging wide receiver that can take over football games. And we saw that even on his touchdown. He runs a post route. Um, he was lined up, I think, at the Z spot on the right side of the field, out wide to the right. Just runs a post route, wide open in the end zone. James Winston actually put a lot of zip on that pass. It goes right to Godwin. He hauls it in for six. And while there wasn't much happening outside of Godwin, you know, Peyton Barber did have, I think, like 80-something yards and the touchdown himself. Outside of those two guys, there wasn't a lot happening for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But, you know, luckily Godwin was enough to get this team the win. And now if everything goes according to plan, Godwin should be in the Pro Bowl at the end of this year because he's been great, you know, so far. I'm John Kuzma. Check out EnzoneBlog.com.